There have also been the explosive revelations shared by the Sussexes in their Netflix series and in Prince Harry's autobiography, published tomorrow, some of which paint Kate and her husband, William, in an unfavorable light. In the wake of Her Majesty's passing, William and Kate were granted the titles of the Prince and Princess of Wales, becoming the third and fourth most senior members of the royal family. Kate Middleton received a special treat on Monday in celebration of her 41st birthday, a little more than one year after the royal family announced it had scrapped the tradition due to save costs. The bells rang for the Princess of Wales at the historic cathedral at 1 p.m. yesterday, much to the excitement of royal fans and passing tourists. King Charles III and Queen Camilla also issued a birthday message to the mother of three on their shared Twitter and Instagram accounts. The former Duchess reportedly spent the day at Adelaide Cottage, where she likely enjoyed the company of her husband, Prince William, and their three children. The princess, who has been a queen in training since her wedding to William more than a decade ago, has embraced the role with expected ease. She was the epitome of grace and dignity and the appearances surrounding Her Majesty's funeral has continued to champion early childhood development as the central pillar of her royal work and has dazzled in a carousel of elegant ensembles. It hasn't always been easy for Kate to adapt to the demands of royal life, but notes that she's always soldiered on without complaint. Kate has been successful because she understands the importance of being part of a team and she has developed the ability to glow and to stand out. She gives out a message of supportiveness to her husband, her own family, and to the wider royal family. She seems likely to be a Princess of Wales who does not detract from her prince but instead forms a unit. Since becoming Princess of Wales, Kate's body language has definitely changed. It's almost as though she has fully embraced the idea that she is going to be Queen. It's obvious that it's a position she holds in high regard since it was also Princess Diana's title. Prince William was created Prince of Wales by his father on September 9, the day after King Charles acceded to the throne. Since joining the British royal family in 2011, Catherine has never missed a beat in dazzling the world with tasteful fashion, notching up the grace every now and then with a surprise tiara moment. Often a majestic headpiece is seen resting on her head as part of her regal ensemble, and it's more than just a pretty thing. The halo tiara and the lover's knot tiara are the most impressive pieces ever worn by Kate, Princess of Wales, which created her most iconic looks. In fact, the Lover's Knot Tiara was Princess Diana's go-to diadem and given that her late mother-in-law frequently wore it, it obviously holds sentimental value for the Princess of Wales. Kate first donned the diadem publicly in 2015 to attend a reception at Buckingham Palace, and in 2022, shortly after taking on her new role, Kate chose it for her first tiara as Princess of Wales also to attend a state banquet at Buckingham Palace. There is no denying that the Princess of Wales fashion choices are watched closely. Often, the items she champions turn into immediate retail gold and inevitably sell out. While the princess regularly turns to classic, timeless items, every now and then she decides to dress a little outside the box, and of course, the world pays attention. For the royal's annual Christmas service at Sandringham Church, Kate Middleton chose to wear an olive green, suede fedora hat, complete with a bow and feather. In the weeks since the Princess of Wales donned the hat, the department store has seen a 267% increase in searches for fedora hats and a 67% increase in searches for the colour olive green. We can all agree, the Princess of Wales has an epic collection of dresses, from floral to sequins. She doesn't wear the humble denim dress too often though, but back in 2020, she stepped out in the casual style when she met Sir David Attenborough, in the gardens of Kensington Palace with her family. The Princess of Wales is currently taking the USA by storm with her styling skills, as she and Prince William undertake their first tour under King Charles' reign. Princess Kate made a case for power dressing as she touched down in America in an indigo suit. The royal sported an impeccably tailored Alexander McQueen suit. She also looked as stunning as ever wearing a vintage double-breasted royal blue tweed jacket by Chanel from 1995 which she previously wore for the 10th anniversary celebration of Coach Corps at the Copper Box Arena on 13th of October, 2022. During a visit to Greentown Labs in Somerville to learn about new green technologies, Princess Kate sported a rich plum-hued suit featuring sharp tailoring, a flared high-waisted trouser, a single-breasted cut and a fitted silhouette. For Earthshot Prize in Boston, much to the delight of her rabid fashion followers, the mother of three made a case for British design sporting an outfit crafted by the creme de la creme of British fashion houses. 